Senator, we need to talk. Not now. Of all the trains and all the rail routes in all the country, Laura and her new big shot husband, James, end up on mine. You're gonna need a bigger wallet for that one. He doesn't know how right he is. I hadn't seen Laura in years, not since she got married, though I never really stopped thinking about her. Don't you realize both of us will get cooked if this deal doesn't go through? Well, it seems to me it's you that's gonna get cooked. Rick! I wanted to explain, but you wouldn't listen. It's a small train. Let's see if we can keep out of each other's way. So what's the connection between Senator Mason and Laura's husband, James? Oh, hold on, sir. Oh, sorry, detective. It all happened so fast. James locked the door and he turned out the light and we were falling asleep. And then the door opened and James was shot. What did he look like? All I saw was the gun and when it went off I was blinded for a moment. Did you see a shape? Who do you think it was? Uh, I don't know. Mason? They were arguing about a business deal this afternoon. James was really unsure, and Mason was pressuring him. What was it about? Well, I never paid attention to details. That was for James to worry about. Well, if it was Mason, we've only got four hours until the next stop. If he gets off this train, he'll never be convicted. Sorry about James. I never stopped loving you. Ah, what? Hello, Senator. I'm Detective Blaine. As you're aware, a business associate of yours is shot. Hold on there. I've got no business associates. I'm a politician. Tell me about your association with James. I knew the man. Doesn't mean I had him murdered. Doesn't mean I murdered him myself. Well, when I walked by his room earlier in the day, I overheard a part of your conversation. You seem to suggest a failed business transaction between the two of you would cause you both grief. I don't think you heard any conversation of that sort. With all due respect, I know what I heard. Hey, how about out of a little respect for me and my office, you look for the killer elsewhere. Probably an inside job. I didn't even have a key. If you checked with Laura. I'm gonna find the killer. Hey, by the way, I never said the door was locked. No! I never liked you. You're delusional. You killed James. It was him, he killed James. You set me up for this. You told me that if James was out of the way, she'd be mine. I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I should have never listen to you. I knew that you'd say anything to get whatever you want. Anything to increase your political power. You're not gonna step on me again. You're crazy. He's crazy. Let's see if you've got enough political power to stop a bullet.
The stooge dies in the dirty walk. What kind of world is this? I could arrest the senator, but he'd buy a witness and come up with an alibi. And I'd be left looking for a job. The only one benefiting from this trip is the undertaker. The rest are victims. Our rides here. 